So with what was meant to be a three day boot sale game hunt, uh, it started very badly thanks to the typical British weather, the British summer, not being a summer um, and it just be pissing down with rain. Boot sales cancelled, but we've got a plan B. Um, I'm heading into Croydon. They've got a CEX, um, a game, or they used to have a game. They've got a couple of charity shops, a game on or something like that. So we're going to see what we can get from Croydon um, and then we'll see what we've got once we get back to Central Command. Let's go check it out and see what we can find. So the rain's got worse. I'm on the approach to CEX now, but it is piercing down. Um, it's a bleak day, but Croydon's a bit bleaker. It's got a bit worse since I last come. Loads of the shops are now boarded up, um, but at least CEX and cash converters are right here and they're still open. So let's see what we get. So just done in Croydon, um, didn't pick up anything in Game On in the end. One of the charity shops was shut and the other two didn't have uh, barely any games in. Or if they did, they were ones I've already got, so I didn't want to pick them ones up. But I did manage to get a good stack in um, Computer Exchange and in Play Nation games, uh, part of the Heart of Gaming. Um, I'll give you a quick sneak peek of what some of the stack. Just there, that's the Play Nation one. And this one is the CEX stack. Um, heading out now for day two of the bank holiday, which will be tomorrow. I'm hoping for some better weather for a boot sale over in um, Epsom. So here's hoping the weather changes because right now it's still miserable. I've looked at the weather app and it says it's going to be miserable all day. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it brightens up for both Sunday and Monday as part of the bank holiday. It's got two boot sales there and then a trip into central London. So. Uh, keep watching and we'll see what happens over the next two days. So back in the game room after a day one hunt for the August Bank holiday weekend and I managed to pick up a double handful of games from Croydon after the boot sale was cancelled. Um, so it wasn't all bad after all. Um, so going straight into this stack, I picked up Pirates of the Caribbean Dead Man's Chest for the PlayStation Portable, which was £1 in computer exchange. I have mentioned a couple of times about growing my handheld collection um, and where this is one I needed and was a quid, I thought I might as well get it. Um, I do love the Pirates of the Caribbean films, um, but I haven't really played much of the games. There was the one that I played on Xbox 360, but it wasn't one that I put a lot of time into. I think I played probably the first five or ten minutes um, and this probably in all honesty isn't going to be one that I'm going to play anytime soon just because I don't play PSP all that often uh, but nevertheless trying to grow that collection so that was an easy one to go in where it was a quid. Um, a lot of these games I did pick up in the computer exchange in Croydon. Um, the charity shops in Croydon just aren't very good or they wasn't this time anyway. Um, I think one of them, there was a couple of games in, but they were things I'd already had, and one of them has closed down. So the only real places to go are cash converters, which is Toilet, the, the CEX, and the, I think it's called Play Nation Games, which is attached to the Heart of Gaming Arcade in Croydon. So I managed to pick up a couple there as well. 
the next one is from another set that I've been wanting to build on um, and that is Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U. Uh, I got this for £6 in computer exchange. Uh, it was one that I was thinking, do I already have it this size? Um, but it's not, my Wii U collection is really small so it should be an easy system for me to start at least building some games for. Uh, that was the only Wii or Wii U game that I picked up uh, on this day of the bank holiday weekend. Uh, so glad to add that one into the collection. It's one a Wii U game that I probably should have had, uh, but before I didn't really. It's not something that I was really collecting for. Um, so yeah, Super Mario 3D World for the Wii U straight into the collection. Next I've got a handful of PS2 games. Are they a mixture from PlayNation and Computer Exchange? No, these all four of these were from PlayNation games in Croydon. Definitely worth a punt if you're uh, in the South London area or in Croydon looking at a, somewhere to buy games. Uh, they usually have some bits that I don't see. Lots of retro. Um, they've got like a TGC bit and the Heart of Gaming Arcade upstairs as well. So it's quite a cool little place to check out. Um, and the first one was Alpine Racer 3. I got this for $2.99 uh, for the PlayStation 2. Uh, with the manual, nice and heavy. Um, good condition as well. Um, that one goes straight in to the PS2 collection. I don't really play much of uh, the snowboarding games, but they are good fun. I did used to like SSX when it came out. Now the next one I paid £1.99 for, a game that I've not seen before. Uh, I don't think I've ever seen it in CEX. Uh, and I'm not sure how to pronounce this, that's probably me butchering it. Is Godai or Godai Elemental Force. Um, yeah, not one that I've ever seen before. So that's one that can go straight into the PlayStation 2 collection. Uh, the next one is one that I wasn't sure that I, if I had it or not, I don't think I did. And this is again, 199 in PlayNation games. And that is Thunderhawk Operation Phoenix for the PS2. Uh, they did have some reasonably, reasonably priced games in PlayNation, so was glad to pick up some of these PS2 games because I know that in CEX they seem to, same with Xbox, they seem to be creeping up a little bit. I used to go get lows for 50p each in um, CEX and now I don't ever seem to be able to do that. Um, so the next game on the PS2 is another game from PlayNation 299 this time and it's a game I've not seen before and it was fun that I thought I'd pick up just as a bit of fun and that is Smarties Meltdown. Not a game that I'd ever seen before um, or ever heard anything about but it is one that can go straight into the collection it does look quite fun actually to be fair um, I'm not sure if you can see that very well but Smarties Meltdown for the PS2 complete with manual is the next one so a few PS2 games they're reasonably reasonably priced ones that I don't often see when I'm walking around different CEX shops so nice to be able to pick those up the last four games from day one of the bank holiday weekend are four Xbox One games that I didn't have, but some that I have played. And the first is Star Wars Squadrons, which I paid £3 for. Uh, I had played this on Game Pass probably for all of five minutes again. Uh, so one to add into the Xbox collection for three quid. I don't think that was that bad. <clears throat> The next game for £2 was Deus Ex Mankind Divided, Day 1 Edition, which was £2. Straight into the collection. Um, the next one, I think I played on Xbox 360. I didn't have it, I didn't play it on the Wii U, uh, and that is Zombie, uh, one that I probably will play. Uh, probably soon, because we're in October, and it's all about spooky season and some horror games to play for this month. Uh, so that will be one that I probably will give a go before any of the others. And that was £6 in Computer Exchange. And the last game is another game from PlayNation. It was £9.99. Uh, it's a game that I have been looking forward to playing because I don't often see this. Um, and I actually didn't know it existed as a HD remaster, if that could count. Um, and that is Tie the Tasmanian Tiger HD for Xbox One and Xbox Series. Uh, so another one that I'm looking forward to playing, one of those easy games to just hopefully be able to jump into while I'm sitting on the sofa. Uh, so this one along with Zombie are probably going to be the first two that I actually do pick up and play from this stack. So that is my 
stack for day one of the bank holiday weekend. After the <laughs> car boots are being called off because of the weather, I would say that's still a good amount. For, oh, sorry, I've missed parts of the cab in there. A good amount for me to pick up for the day one. I've still got day two and three from the bank August bank holiday hunt uh, to to record and post for you. So there's a bunch more games across day two and three as well. But day one definitely off to a good start. So stay tuned for day two and day three of the bank holiday weekend. They will be in separate videos. And as always, if you could drop me a like a comment or a subscription on this video if you did enjoy it that would be super helpful um, and i will hopefully see you in the next one enjoy your hunting and take care peace out